So welcome back everyone to another Delivered Reviewed and at the request of subscribe, which I do agree, um, to go back to a few more local takeaways and sample, although I've been here before, sample the local cuisine. And this week we're going to do Sharma, which is modern Indian food to go. This week, uh, the local Indian takeaway, which I think was uh, a good shout from one of the subscribers. And yeah, I appreciate you obviously doing a few franchises uh, or more than a few franchises. Um, so this week, a traditional chicken tikka masala. This is basically one of their meal deals, meal deal for one, I think two and for three. And ultimately it was, it was really nice. I mean, you can see there in kind of like the unboxing of, of the, uh, the meal that Everything's fresh, everything's bright, everything's colorful and um, really full of flavor. I mean, they've been there for over 10 years, I think, um, and for, as far as I know, it might even be longer. And they've always produced, I've been to them many times, they've, they've always produced, uh, I think they've got like an award-winning chef, or at least they used to have an award-winning chef. Um, as you can see there, I can see kind of like a bit of B-roll cooked over grills and the char grilling, etc. and and you know, the extra that you don't get from like a Burger King. If you want to pause the video there for a little bit about them. Um, you get kind of more of a, what I'm trying to say, like a home cooked kind of meal vibe, especially Indian, Chinese, etc. Um, a lot of them are family owned, um, albeit this isn't a restaurant, it's literally just to go. Um, but anyway, it is a mixed kebab, which there is a onion bhaji and I, I don't, as I've said before, I don't like raw onions, but the onion bhaji, uh, for the fact that it's like a fritter, uh, I think it's thinly sliced onions coated in some sort of chickpea batter, a little bit thicker, deep fried um, until crispy. Now, the onion bhaji wasn't crispy, but it, it was really nice. A little bit of heat to it, maybe a little bit of spice to it. Um, plus, you get there a shish kebab. That was more kind of like uh, a lamb, I guess like minced lamb, that, that kind of... Um, sort of texture um, but that, that was quite nice There's no heat to that at all really and you get three pieces I think there's another piece in the box of chicken tikka plus uh, onions piece of lemon I think and um, peppers the peppers I had a piece of the peppers they were, they were quite nice but they were almost kind of like a bit not raw but um, weren't caramelized the, the onions weren't caramelized but I think they were supposed to be um, again big chunks of onions definitely not so anyway um, on to the, I'm pretty sure it's pilau rice, but I think I put boiled rice as, as the uh, picture of the individual items. Um, really nice, like not overcooked, not undercooked. Uh, a little bit of, I'm not sure what was in it, but some sort of like a little bit of a spice to it. Um, not heat though or anything like that, just as it's been cooked in with, it might be like cardamom pods or, or something like that as, as they were cooking them. Um, really nice, but as you can see there, as I'm spooning that out, the chicken tikka or the chicken one to the point was was amazing. I mean, they, they always put a lot, like Chinese as well, they always put a lot of the ingredients um, into the dish, go to a franchise and it's always minimal. Well, as far as I can see anyway, it's always minimal. Um, but yeah, you get obviously a lot of sauce, big pieces of chicken and they were cooked well. Um, the sauce in terms of chicken tikka masala, I think it's more of like a, a British twist or something. It isn't... I think, I could be completely wrong, but I, th I don't think it's like a traditional in Indian dish, as opposed to like a Rogan Josh or something similar. Um, almost like a korma sort of um, consistency with the sauce, but from what I know, it's supposed to be a, a tomato-based sauce. Um, probably got a little bit of coconut in it. I'm not entirely sure because it wasn't that strong. As you can see there, the chicken was cooked perfectly. Um, not overcooked, obviously soaking in the uh, sauce sort of added to it, kept the moisture little bit of heat so it was mild but it had a little bit of spice to it really really nice and a lot as i say a lot of food for your money i think um as an indian traditional dish as i say maybe not traditional as such but as you can see there in terms of what the traditional uh, creation of naan breads in a tandoor oven i think it is um i'm pretty sure they've got that as well is that everything they make is as close to traditional as possible um, but obviously in the uk the poppadoms, or in two seconds the naan bread, but the poppadoms really crisp, sort of your traditional um, poppadoms. 
they weren't uh, you know nothing special but nothing bad at all um they did go a little bit soft quite quickly um when it was sat out on the side but i suppose being fresh versus is a um supermarket version they probably are going to go a little bit softer the mango chutney was really nice um not too chunky at all can you see there it's like a um kind of a ground mango uh, almost like a smoothie but you know tiny little bits in it and that was really nice um, really strong mango flavor so the naan bread i think is is basically like nine or ten out of ten it's soft kind of a bit chewy it's got a lot of air pockets in it a um, little bit of sort of crisp and, and charred sort of on the outside edges again in the proper tandoor oven you, you can't really beat it um there's, there's many restaurants out there in terms of Indians that you, again, probably being more family orientated um, as a business, you can't really beat them. That they're, they're cooked well. Everything's always cooked well, never undercooked, never overcooked. Just a really nice meal. So, as far as trying them, I would say definitely try them. They're, they're, they've got to be one of the um, the best in terms of uh, takeaways in uh, Nottingham or, or Chilwell, and. Um, Again, you get a little bag of salad there, which, as people have probably realised by now, I'm not that into my salad, but I will eat it. So, on the basis of it being, a, I think, a really good meal, um, the ratings were, were high. So, mixed kebab, 8 out of 10, chicken tikka, 9 out of 10, rice, 8 out of 10, and then on, as I said, 9 or, as I say, 10 out of 10. Thanks for all the subscriptions and likes, and we're on to the next one next week.